How does the sexuality of women in different generations compare? Is it possible to have an active sex life in old age? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. The sexuality of women can vary between generations due to cultural, social, and technological changes. Attitudes towards sexuality and expectations may differ, but fundamentally, basic needs and desires remain similar. Yes, it is possible to have an active sex life in old age. Although physical and hormonal challenges may arise, many older individuals enjoy a fulfilling and satisfying sex life. In some indigenous cultures, sex education is transmitted through oral traditions and ceremonial rituals. This may include teaching gender roles, mutual respect, and sexual responsibility within the community. Influence of pornography. Excessive consumption of pornography can influence perceptions of sexuality and contribute to the onset of problems like premature ejaculation by setting unrealistic expectations about sexual performance. Inspiration for experimentation. The detailed illustrations and descriptions of the Kama Sutra have inspired many couples to experiment with new techniques and sexual positions, which can revitalize the sex life and increase emotional connection between partners. Internet popularity. Pornography is one of the most searched for and consumed content on the internet, representing a significant portion of web traffic worldwide. In Japan, sexual education focuses on preventing sexual harassment and online exploitation, with an emphasis on mutual respect and privacy protection in the digital world. Kama Sutra in Music Some song lyrics and music videos make references to the Kama Sutra, using its concepts and positions as metaphors for sensuality and passion. Kama Sutra in Yoga There are yoga practices inspired by the Kama Sutra, which combine physical postures with breathing techniques and meditation to enhance the connection between the body and sexuality. Key communication. Open and honest communication is crucial in open relationships. Couples must establish clear boundaries, discuss their needs and concerns, and maintain constant communication for the relationship to function. Leather clothing fetishism. Leather clothing fetishism involves an attraction to clothing made of leather, such as tight pants, jackets, or boots. The smell, texture, and association with domination can be exciting aspects for those with this fetish. Long-distance couple toys. Remote-controlled sex toys allow couples to sexually interact even when they are geographically separated, as one can control the device while the other uses it. Masturbation and Empowerment For many women, masturbation is a form of sexual empowerment by taking control of their own pleasure and exploring their sexuality without shame or taboos. Masturbation and Orgasm Female masturbation can lead to orgasm, but some women also enjoy the process without necessarily reaching climax, focusing on exploration and pleasure. Masturbation During menstrual cycle, some women find that masturbation can alleviate symptoms of premenstrual syndrome, PMS, and menstrual cramps by releasing endorphins and reducing muscle tension. Masturbation in older age. Masturbation is not exclusive to young people. Many older women continue to enjoy masturbation as a way to maintain a healthy and satisfying sexual life. Medications for erectile dysfunction and side effects. While medications like Viagra, Sildenafil, Cialis, Tadalafil, and Levitra, Vardenafil, can help treat erectile dysfunction, they can also cause side effects such as headaches, facial flushing, and vision problems. In Latin American countries like Mexico and Argentina, fairs and community events on sexual and reproductive health are held, offering counseling services, HIV testing, and distribution of contraceptives free of charge. In the Muslim world, sex education can vary depending on the country and religious interpretations. 
In some places, sex education focuses on abstinence before marriage and reproduction within marriage, while in other places it may be more open but still subject to cultural and religious restrictions. Myths about premature ejaculation. There are several myths surrounding premature ejaculation, such as the belief that it is an issue exclusive to young men or that it is always related to lack of interest in the sexual partner. Naval fetishism. Some individuals find sexual arousal towards navels, either admiring the aesthetic appearance of a partner's navel or engaging in erotic activities involving navel stimulation. Object trapping fetishism. Some people experience sexual arousal from being trapped in objects such as tight clothing, furniture, or even confined spaces. Only fans phenomenon. Platforms like OnlyFans have allowed creators of erotic content to monetize their work directly, challenging traditional models of the pornography industry. Orgasm control toys. Some sex toys are designed to help individuals control their arousal and delay orgasm, such as penis rings with adjustable vibration or resistance training devices. Pharmacological treatment. In some cases, doctors may prescribe medications, such as antidepressants or topical anesthetics, to help control premature ejaculation. However, these medications may have side effects and are not suitable for all men. Popularity in erotic literature. The Kama Sutra has inspired a wide range of erotic literature, from novels to poems and essays, which have contributed to keeping its influence alive in contemporary culture. Pornography and sexual perception. Pornography can influence sexual perception and expectations, but it's important to recognize that pornography does not necessarily reflect reality and can distort ideas about sex, the body, and intimate relationships. Positions for exploring new sensations. Exploring new sexual positions can be exciting and rewarding for many women, as it allows them to discover new ways of pleasure and enjoyment with their partner. Pregnancy fetishism. Some people find sexual arousal in the physical and hormonal changes associated with pregnancy. This can manifest as increased sexual interest in pregnant women. Prevalence of sexual dysfunction. Sexual dysfunction, which includes problems such as erectile dysfunction and lack of sexual desire, is common in men and women of all ages and can have multiple causes, including physical, psychological, and emotional factors. Prevention of mother-to-child transmission. With proper treatment during pregnancy and childbirth, the transmission of certain STDs from mother to baby can be prevented or significantly reduced. Psychological origins. Fetishes can have different psychological origins, from early childhood experiences to subconscious associations developed over time. Some studies suggest that fetishes may arise as coping mechanisms to deal with anxiety or stress. Rediscovery in the digital age. With the advent of the internet, the Kama Sutra has experienced a resurgence online with numerous websites, blogs, and resources dedicated to exploring and sharing its teachings in a modern context. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.